Okay, so the last thing we're gonna review is how to do Punnett squares with blood typing problems. Uh, blood types are interesting because there's actually three different alleles that code for blood. There's the A allele, the B allele, and the O recessive allele. A and B are both dominant and O is recessive. And you can get different combinations of this which determine your blood type. Um, because of this, this kind of violates Mendel's laws because there are multiple alleles that can code for a blood type. Um, however, you still only inherit two. You inherit one from your mother and one from your father, and that will determine what your blood is. So um, just take a look at this chart right here. In order to get A blood, you can either get an A allele from one of your parents and an I, which is the recessive O from one of your parents. And if that happens, you're heterozygous A. Or you could get A from one parent and A from the other, and that would make you homozygous dominant. Okay, either one would give you the blood type A, but it, it differs because one is homozygous dominant and the other is heterozygous. B works the same way. You can inherit both B alleles from your parents and be blood type B, or you could inherit just one of the Bs and the other is the O recessive and you would still have B because B is the dominant allele. In order to be AB blood, there's only one way to get it. One parent gives you the A allele and the other parent gives you the B allele. And the same thing with blood type O. The only way to get that is if one parent gives you the recessive and the other parent gives you the recessive. So you are O. So we're gonna be using this chart to help us with the Punnett square. Okay, so here's a problem. A female with blood type O mates with a male that is type AB. Predict the possible phenotypes and genotypes of the offspring. Okay, so the female is gonna go on one side and the male is gonna go on the other. The female has blood type O. So I'm gonna use this chart and take a look. There's her genotype. She is lowercase i, lowercase i. So I'm gonna put that here, lowercase i, lowercase i. So remember, this is blood type O. This is the female. And then the male is type AB. Well, in order to be AB, again, I'm gonna use my chart here. And it says one of the alleles must be A, and the other allele must be B. Okay, and just like we did with all the other Punnett square videos, we just start combining them. So this one here is gonna be I, A, I. This one here is gonna be I, B, I. This one down here, I, A, I. And this one down here, I, B, I. So let's interpret our results. This offspring right here, because they have the A dominant, even though they're carrying the recessive, they're heterozygous, this offspring right here is gonna have blood type A. This offspring right here is going to have blood type B. And if you're ever in doubt, just look at the chart and it tells you if you have this genotype, IBI, you're gonna have blood type B, okay? This child here will have blood type A and this child here will have blood type B. So what's their phenotype? 50%, so two out of the four, are gonna have blood type A, and two out of the four, 50%, are gonna have blood type B, okay? What's their genotype, so what is their DNA saying? Well, 50% of them, so two of the four, are gonna be heterozygous for that A blood, and 50%, are going to be heterozygous for the B blood. Now what's crazy about this is none of the offspring will have the same blood type as their parents. So their parents were O and AB and notice the children can either only be A or they can only be B. All right, so I hope this has helped with doing Punnett squares for blood typing.